Understanding Anemia, Causes, Symptoms, and Treatment. Anemia is a medical condition characterized by a deficiency in the number of red blood cells, or the amount of hemoglobin in the blood. Hemoglobin is a protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body. When someone has anemia, their body doesn't get enough oxygen-rich blood, which can lead to many symptoms that we will cover today. Please note, we are not medical professionals. This video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered as medical advice. Now let's begin. First, we will talk about types of anemia. Number one, iron deficiency anemia. It occurs when there is a lack of iron in the body. Iron is necessary for the production of hemoglobin, which carries oxygen in red blood cells. Without sufficient iron, the body cannot produce an adequate amount of hemoglobin, leading to anemia. Two, vitamin deficiency anemias, caused by deficiencies in specific vitamins essential for red blood cell production, such as vitamin B12, cobalamin, and folate, vitamin B9. Vitamin B12 and folate are crucial for DNA synthesis and red blood cell maturation. Deficiencies in these vitamins can impair red blood cell production, resulting in anemia. 3. Anemia of chronic disease, associated with chronic inflammatory conditions such as cancer, HIV AIDS, rheumatoid arthritis, and other chronic diseases. Inflammatory cytokines and other factors interfere with the body's ability to use iron effectively, leading to anemia despite normal or increased iron stores. 4. Aplastic anemia, a rare condition where the bone marrow fails to produce enough red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Damage to the bone marrow, often due to autoimmune disorders, infections, medications, or exposure to toxins, impairs its ability to produce blood cells. 5. Hemolytic anemia occurs when red blood cells are destroyed faster than the bone marrow can replace them. This can result from autoimmune reactions, where the immune system mistakenly attacks red blood cells. Certain medications, infections, or inherited conditions affecting red blood cell survival. 6. Sickle cell anemia, a hereditary condition caused by a mutation in the hemoglobin gene resulting in abnormal hemoglobin, hemoglobin S. Hemoglobin S causes red blood cells to become rigid and sickle-shaped, leading to blockages in blood vessels, reduced oxygen delivery, and premature destruction of red blood cells, resulting in anemia. Now let's dive into the anemia symptoms. Number 1. Fatigue. Anemia reduces the oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood, which means less oxygen reaches tissues and muscles. This leads to persistent feelings of tiredness, weakness, and exhaustion, even after adequate rest. 2. Weakness. Decreased oxygen delivery to muscles and tissues results in generalized weakness. Individuals may feel physically weaker and may struggle with activities that were once manageable. 3. Pale or yellowish skin. Anemia can cause the skin to appear paler than usual due to reduced red blood cells or hemoglobin. In cases of severe anemia or hemolysis, breakdown of red blood cells, jaundice may occur, characterized by a yellowing of the skin and whites of the eyes. 4. Irregular heartbeats, palpitations. The heart may beat irregularly or rapidly as it attempts to compensate for reduced oxygen levels in the blood. This can manifest as palpitations or a sensation of fluttering or pounding in the chest. 5. Shortness of breath. Reduced oxygen availability to tissues leads to a sensation of breathlessness, particularly during physical exertion or even at rest in severe cases of anemia. Individuals may find it difficult to catch their breath or may experience rapid breathing. 6. Dizziness or lightheadedness. Insufficient oxygen delivery to the brain can cause feelings of dizziness or lightheadedness. This sensation may worsen when standing up quickly or exerting oneself physically. 7. Chest pain, angina. In severe cases of anemia, especially when the heart muscle is not receiving adequate oxygen, individuals may experience chest pain known as angina. This occurs when the heart is strained due to insufficient oxygen supply. Before we move on to the next symptom, please take a moment to hit the subscribe and like buttons if you haven't already. Your support is crucial for us to continue providing valuable content for you. Number 8. Cold Hands and Feet 
reduced blood flow and oxygen delivery to the extremities can cause the hands and feet to feel cold to the touch. This symptom is often noticeable even in warm environments. 9. Headaches. Anemia can lead to headaches due to inadequate oxygen supply to the brain. These headaches may vary in intensity and may worsen during periods of physical or mental stress. These symptoms of anemia can vary in severity depending on the underlying cause and the degree of deficiency in red blood cells or hemoglobin. Identifying and treating the underlying cause of anemia is crucial to alleviate these symptoms and improve overall well-being. Next we have causes of anemia. Number one, blood loss. Blood loss can occur due to various factors such as heavy menstrual periods in women, gastrointestinal bleeding from conditions like ulcers, gastritis, or cancers, trauma from accidents, or surgeries. When significant amounts of blood are lost, the body's red blood cell count decreases. Chronic or acute blood loss can lead to anemia if the lost blood is not adequately replaced. Iron deficiency anemia specifically develops when chronic blood loss occurs without sufficient iron intake or supplementation to replenish iron stores in the body. 2. Decreased or faulty red blood cell production. This type of anemia can result from deficiencies in essential nutrients such as iron, vitamin B12, cobalamin, or folate, vitamin B9. It can also occur due to bone marrow disorders such as aplastic anemia, myelitis plastic syndromes, or certain genetic conditions affecting hemoglobin production. Inadequate intake or absorption of these nutrients or disorders affecting the bone marrow's ability to produce red blood cells can lead to insufficient red blood cell production. Without enough healthy red blood cells, the body cannot transport oxygen efficiently, resulting in anemia. 3. Increased red blood cell destruction, hemolytic anemia. Hemolytic anemia occurs when red blood cells are destroyed at a faster rate than normal. Causes include inherited conditions, such as sickle cell disease or thalassemia, where abnormal hemoglobin or red blood cell structure leads to premature breakdown. Autoimmune disorders, where the immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys red blood cells. Autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Infections, such as malaria, where the parasite infects and destroys red blood cells. Certain medications, like antibiotics or anticonvulsants, which can cause immune-mediated destruction of red blood cells. Drug-induced hemolytic anemia. Complications from blood transfusions where transfused blood cells may be attacked by the recipient's immune system. In these conditions, red blood cells are prematurely broken down, leading to a reduction in the number of circulating red blood cells. This reduction can cause anemia depending on the severity and rate of destruction. Each cause of anemia involves distinct mechanisms that disrupt the normal production, function, or survival of red blood cells. Identifying the specific cause is crucial for determining the appropriate treatment and management strategies to alleviate anemia and its associated symptoms. Anemia treatment and its importance. Number one, iron deficiency anemia. Iron supplements, typically in the form of ferrous sulfate or ferrous gluconate, are prescribed to replenish depleted iron stores in the body. These supplements are often combined with dietary changes to include more iron-rich foods such as lean meats, beans, spinach, and iron-fortified cereals. Iron is essential for hemoglobin production, the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen. Supplementing with iron helps restore hemoglobin levels, improving symptoms like fatigue and weakness associated with iron deficiency anemia. 2. Vitamin Deficiency Anemias Treatment depends on the specific vitamin deficiency. For vitamin B12 deficiency, intramuscular injections of vitamin B12 or high-dose oral supplements are administered to correct the deficiency. For folate deficiency, folate supplements are prescribed, along with dietary changes to include folate-rich foods such as leafy green vegetables, fruits, and fortified cereals. Vitamin B12 and folate are critical for red blood cell production and normal cell division. Supplementing with these vitamins corrects deficiencies and supports the formation of healthy red blood cells. 3. Anemia of chronic disease. Managing the underlying chronic condition effectively is key. This may involve medications to control inflammation or disease activity, which can improve the body's ability to use iron effectively 
and potentially normalize red blood cell production. Treating the chronic condition can help mitigate anemia symptoms and improve overall health outcomes. 4. Aplastic anemia. Treatment options vary based on severity and underlying cause. Blood transfusions to replace deficient red blood cells, platelets, and sometimes white blood cells. Medications. Immunosuppressive medications may be prescribed to suppress the immune system's attack on the bone marrow and allow it to resume normal blood cell production. Bone marrow transplantation. In severe cases where the bone marrow is severely damaged, a bone marrow transplant may be necessary to replace the dysfunctional marrow with healthy stem cells capable of producing blood cells. Aplastic anemia requires aggressive treatment to restore blood cell production and prevent complications like infections and bleeding. 5. Hemolytic anemia. Treatment focuses on managing the underlying cause. Medications. Immunosuppressive medications may be used in autoimmune hemolytic anemia to suppress the immune system's attack on red blood cells. Avoiding triggers. Identifying and avoiding triggers such as certain medications or infections that may exacerbate hemolysis. Blood transfusions to replace destroyed red blood cells and manage severe anemia. Controlling the underlying condition is crucial to reduce the destruction of red blood cells and may require lifelong management to prevent relapses. 6. Sickle cell anemia. Treatment aims to manage symptoms and reduce complications. Pain management. During sickle cell crises, medications are used to alleviate pain and discomfort. Hydration. Maintaining adequate hydration helps prevent sickling of red blood cells. Avoiding triggers, such as cold temperatures or dehydration, that can induce sickle cell crises. Blood transfusions. To replace sickled red blood cells with healthy red blood cells and manage complications. Bone marrow transplants. Offer a potential cure in some cases by replacing the defective bone marrow with healthy stem cells capable of producing normal hemoglobin. Managing sickle cell anemia involves a comprehensive approach to alleviate symptoms, prevent complications like infections or organ damage, and improve the quality of life for individuals affected by this genetic disorder. Please remember, we are not doctors. The information shared in this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended as medical advice. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing and exploring our other health and wellness videos.